Good afternoon everybody, it is Vicky, the VTubbers Queen and this is another one of my little Turbo Tuesday mini masterclasses and today I'm going to be talking about summer and summer sales, summer selling opportunities, summer marketing events um, and the reason that I am touching on this today is because we have just worked through um, March and April and the end of March was um, one of the biggest um, events of the year in terms of retail value and that was Mother's Day closely followed last weekend by Easter which um, is climbing up the um, sales charts in terms of being um, a growing um, value sales opportunity for retailers um, not just chocolate not just eggs it's gift it's homeware it's garden it's clothing everything is on the up in terms of Easter spend so we've just got those out of the way um, and then it's a long way off um, Christmas. So what are we going to push over the next few months? So that is what this little mini masterclass is all about. So if you are watching live and you are um, lurking in the background, say hello, tell me I'm not talking to myself. If you're watching this on replay, um, hello to you too and any questions let me know and I will check in on the thread um, later on if anybody's watching it um, this evening. I know it's the first day back after a long weekend for lots of people, although for us retailers um, we never really go off duty do we? We're, all, you know, we're always thinking about sales, we're always um, planning social media, we're always tinkering with our websites um, and if you've got a shop you'll probably open three out of the four days of the weekend as well. So no rest for the wicked day. Eh? Um, so yeah, what, what events have we got um, that we can push? So um, we have got lots of opportunities. Um, summer can be a little tricky for retailers, particularly August. Um, and Christmas, as I said, seems a long, long, long way off, although I will be talking um, about Christmas and mentioning the C word very, very soon um, and gearing up for um, my four month um, program in the VIP club where I take retailers from um, Christmas planning and Christmas launch in August, not Christmas launch, but Christmas um plans for launches in August all the way through to December and we did it last year very successfully and lots of my VIP members got to November and December feeling nice and relaxed, nice and calm and um, had a great Christmas which is what mat matters in terms of sales. So what we're going to do for the next few months, what we don't want to do is take our finger off the pulse and sit on our um, bottoms waiting for customers to come to us. We are going to remind them of all the sales opportunities that, that are happening over the next few months. So we have things like coming up in May, we've got obviously two more bank holidays. Um, we hopefully will continue with the good weather, although um, but as a balance, some, some retailers um, replied to my thread to say it hindered their sales. Some people had said that um, it hadn't affected their sales. Um, so in terms of good weather, I need you to be thinking about how you can get those customers into your shop um, or onto your website if the weather is um, absolutely glorious. And what I would advise about things like that is make sure your shop is nice and cool. Um, provide water if it's really stiflingly hot you know um, tell them that you've got some um, refreshments um, if you've got aircon make sure you talk about that it's, it's you know it's a new it's a big thing really for, um, for the UK for us to have aircon particularly in a small office or um, shop but tell them tell them it's nice and cool inside um, if you've got ice lollies or if you've got you know fresh juice tell them that as well make sure your your um, your window displays rotate on a regular basis because if the hot sun is on your window, you don't want your clothing to fade or your or your products to fade, so you can rotate those. Um, each each display should be themed to whatever is happening that month or that week to invite them in. Um, and most importantly, when we are posting on social media, if the weather is absolutely glorious, particularly at the weekend, what you need to do is really try and um, time your posts to more of the evenings because when people are on um, social media, and it's glorious weather, it's very difficult to read your phone. Um, and I've mentioned it in, in a couple of groups and a couple of videos um, this morning talking to people. Um, but I know myself, I was sat in the garden yesterday, could not see my laptop, could not see my phone, I had to put the umbrella up. 
um, because it's just too bright. So um, if you are hoping to get your customers talking to you on social media, the best time to do that is to generate posts in an evening when they are sat back inside or the sun's gone down and they can see their screen. Sounds simple but it, uh, and obvious, but um, it is just a, a, a trick of the trade. So that's a good one to, um, to think about. So in May, we've got the two bank holidays. We have exams. So if you sell anything that is good luck charms or um, teddy bears that, that you can give to children, because don't forget, you know, we have little ones doing stats. My daughter is 11. She's doing a year six stats. Um, most children in secondary school are doing some sort of tests, end of year tests and things. Um, and then obviously we've got GCSEs, A-levels, and we've got uni exams as well. So that is a big one if you were doing anything that you can give um, to children who are taking exams. Or equally, if you want to kind of pick them up and keep them motivated, you know, little motivational gifts, little things that you can send to them um, or people that can buy that, um, you know, it helps them to think about that person. They will all, all be good winners for May. Um, so that is a big one. Else we've, got, we've got two bank holidays we have got in june we've got um father's day we have got a lot of um a lot of catholic schools they do the whole, first holy communion in may and june as well so there might be um, communion gifts that you want to do or outfits for people going um attending holy communion um we have graduations we have proms in um june and july um we have what else do we have with father's day in june um which is actually an up and coming again in terms of spend for an event that one is on the rise as well um and if you think about it similar to mother's day you've got um generally there is a need to buy more than one gift so there's a big sales opportunity out there you know the dad there's granddad there's could be two granddads from for your children there could be stepdads um so it, it's it's generally more than one um gift because it'd be something from you it could be something from the kids um so that is an opportunity as well if you do anything personalized you need you need to start talking about that sooner rather than later remind them um that it's coming up because lots of people leave it to the last minute um, if you've got if you are doing personalized items or you've you've got a deadline in terms of postage dates keep reminding them um, you might want to do the same sort of reminder the same post over and over again because um, reach on Facebook is so low so it's okay to repeat the same type of post over again over and over again um, we've obviously got schools breaking up colleges breaking up in June and July <clears throat> so we've got kids celebrating we've got people taking time off work we've got our own summer holidays um, and another um, big one is baby boom so um, August, August and September are the um, baby boom months so there could be new baby gift opportunities there's obviously birthdays are high in um, August and September as well so if you're, if you're selling toys um, if you're selling first birthday products or parties and um, obviously and any kind of gifts for, for children born in, or, and adults born in August and September there's a big gifting opportunity there as well so plenty to go at um, what I would do if I was you is get yourself um, a, um, a calendar with the next four months on and plot out what it is that you are going to focus on obviously some of those different types of events are not going to be suitable for your business some might be you might want to just put to a post with good luck messages to everyone doing their sats or everyone doing exams um, just to create some engagement but if you have got gifts that will relate to any of those or if you've got product that will relate to any of those then map out what you are going to be focusing on and, and keep yourself focused don't try and think about father's day and think about holidays do all of your posts based on father's day and schedule them all together then move on to the next event and schedule them you can intermingle and you can have on social media you know posting about father's day and holiday and baby boom even on the same day but they need to be about different products and they they need to have a, a different look and feel so the customer doesn't think that they are seeing the same kind of um post from you try and mix it up with images with text only with video and with live if you can so plenty to go at um, the more sales that we can bring in in May, June and July, the better, because August in retail can be very, very flat. Um, it's too early for Christmas and Halloween. Um, it's um, too early really for autumn. Depends what the, what our August weather is like. 
and also it's a bit late in the day for people to be buying summer products so generally people tend to buy earlier on in the season and get the wear out of them and you know for the holidays so august is a little bit betwixt and between and people don't really know customers don't don't know what to spend their money on so we put things in front of them um to entice them you might think about doing a summer sale you might think about doing some offers or you even might think about doing some early bird um autumn or even christmas products i know last year a lot of my vip ladies did some early birds um in the beginning of september we've also got back to school to think about as well in august so plenty to go at um, it's a busy old few months but actually in terms of weeks it's about 12 um, 13 weeks till we get to the beginning of August when it might go a little bit flat and we need to rethink our strategy so I will no doubt do another Turbo Tuesday about an August strategy um, but hope that's been useful for you um, any questions let me know on this thread if you are watching on catch up um, but yeah, let's, we're moving on from our spring. We are moving into spring, summer phase two. We're into high summer sales now. So get your very my clout um, at the weekend and move my, my wardrobes over from winter to summer. Lots and lots of people doing that. Although the UK weather is very up and down. We'll probably get snowstorms and hail next week. Who knows? Um, but, you know, the a little bit of lovely weather and we're out there in vest tops and shorts and t-shirts and things and we really want it to continue but in terms of posting and talking to our customers it can have an effect on when they um, are on social media if you do have an email list um, time your emails to go out early in the morning or late in the later on in the evening sort of seven o'clock um, you know your customer base best but that is generally a good time for the public um, to open emails you can talk to them much more directly with um, a newsletter as well so that is always the preferred option um, and you can talk about these events in your newsletters you could do a countdown you could do a diary you could talk to them about things that are coming up and ask them um, you know how many of these these events or these occasions um, are, are you involved with and affect you and your family and get a, get a gauge from um, from them in terms of and how busy they are going to be over the next few months you're there to make their life easier you're there to, to sell them a solution to their problem um, and it's about putting the right product in front of them at the right time and getting those sales in um, as much as possible so keep going um, as I say any questions let me know and I will speak to you all soon bye for now